power off the boiler, then wait and power the boiler on. Now wait for the diverter valve motor to move to its default central heating position. You can hear this. In this position, the motor arm is extended. Now power off the boiler. Remove the steel clip to the right. Now unscrew. Remove the motor. Make sure you unhook the ball at the end of the steel pin, as shown. Close the boiler isolation valves and drain the boiler. See our separate video, the link is in the description. Now it's important you ensure the steel pin on the diverter valve is in the mid position. Whilst draining down, this prevents airlocks and enables full drain down. There are black plastic and brass valves. If you have a brass valve, push the strap underneath the body of the valve as being shown here. For black plastic, use the shorter strap and attach the way it's shown in the video. Moving on, make sure you use the correct size screwdriver. Apply gradual pressure on the lever until the screwdriver turns, then release and complete the turn. Now, remove your black plastic or brass clamp and extract the old cartridge. Now, take the time to clean the valve casing. Ensure the fit once cartridge is sufficiently lubricated around the O-rings. Then, insert the cartridge, making sure the arrow is facing the correct way. Showed here is the correct alignment. Now, press in. Reinsert the steel pin to the right and refit the motor, ensuring the arm has engaged with the pin. After this, refill boiler and purge air by briefly running heating and then hot water, alternating between them until all air has been removed. Bleed air that will have been collected in radiators and top up pressure as required. 